Hey, hello guys, welcome to my channel, Sakiti Show. After a long break, here I am with a new project. If you are following me on Facebook and Instagram, you probably know that from now on, all my videos are going to be in English. Now coming back to the project. There is an energy meter for measuring the energy of the appliances in my workshop. But this is a sub meter. For calculating the electricity bill, I have to take the readings and calculate the bill manually. And this work is very annoying for me. So in this video, I will show you how I made my own smart energy meter and how it works. So don't skip the video, watch till the end. Let's get started. Before building the smart energy meter, I look for this in online stores. But the price of these devices is not so smart. I mean, the prices are a little bit high. So I read the features of those energy meter they are offering and trying to build a smart energy meter that will have the same features as the ready-made one. After looking at the features of various energy meters in various online stores, I decided that my smart energy meter should capable of taking the reading of energy consumption and as well as the live reading of voltage and current thus the amount of connected load and the live data can be monitored by a Android app. So I bought a new energy meter from the market which is of single phase and can carry a load current of 20 ampere. After opening it and studying it. I understand the current transformer and potential transformer is present for measuring current and voltage and then after it is using these two values to calculate the energy consumption. There is a motor with a gear setup to display the energy consumption. And it is very difficult to face the data directly from its controller. Instead of fetching the data directly from the energy meter, I decided that I will use the number of blink of the LED to calculate energy consumption. Here is a LED marked as CAL. If this LED blinks for 3200 times, then the meter indicates 1 unit power consumption. 1 unit means 1000 watt power consumption in 1 hour or 1 kilowatt hour. For counting the number of blink of the LED, here I use an optocoupler and the calculation part will be done by a microcontroller. Here I am using Node MCU as a microcontroller. The LED of the optocoupler is directly connected to the indicating LED of the energy meter. On the transistor side of 0.17, I connected a digital pin of Node MCU with a pull up arrangement. If you don't know about pull up and pull down arrangements, feel free to watch my videos on Arduino. You will get the link in the i button. To get the energy reading from the energy meter, I have written this code. In this code, here I declared the pin 14, which is nothing but the pin of node MCU D5. So this pin is directly connected to the optocoupler, and when this pin goes low, the interrupt service reading is called. Here, I use this function attach interrupt to declare the pin 14 as an interrupt pin. If this pin when goes low, the interrupt is called and in the interrupt, which is also known as ISR or interrupt service routine, I increase the value of CMT variable by 1. So when each pulse is coming, the defect pin is goes low and the count variable will increase by 1. And we know that the for 3200 pulses, 1 kilowatt hour is calculated. So we can easily calculate for one pulse how much energy is consumed. So I will upload this whole code in the node MCU and then take the energy reading from the energy meter. Now it is the time for measuring voltage and current. So for doing this, I got these two sensors. For measuring voltage, I am using ZMPT101B. It consists of a small potential transformer for stepping down the voltage which can be easily measured by the microcontroller. And for current sensor I am using ZHT103. It also works as the voltage sensor but it has a current transformer instead of a potential transformer. 
the output of these sensors is in analog form and in node MCU there is only one analog pin. So for taking these two analog readings an analog to digital converter is required. Here I am using ADS1115 16-bit ADC which has a I2C communication protocol for transferring data. The whole connection look like this. The analog output of the sensors will connect to the ADS1115 and it will send the data to the node MCU through I2C protocol. As always you will find the circuit diagram, code and more information in the description. As I am using ADS1115 for taking the analog reading from ZMP101B, at first I include the Adafruit ADS library. After that, I declare some variable for calculation purpose. In the loop section, we are taking 100 samples from the voltage and store into an array. After that, from this array, we find out the peak value. And then after, we map the peak value in the actual RMS voltage in our case that is 235 volt AC. And here you can see in the serial monitor. For the current sensor, up to here, the whole code is same. But for mapping the current value, here we are using a hyperbolic equation to get the actual RMS value of the current and then we serial print it in the serial monitor. Here you can see in the serial monitor. As for the cloud service, we are using Google Firebase, so I include the Google Firebase library in my code. I also include the previous three codes which is for energy reading, voltage reading and current reading in the main code. Here you have to change the API key and database URL uh, which is available in your Google Firebase project. And you have to also change the SSID and password. After that, I am using NTP library for timestamp purpose. After that, in the loop section, I will send the value after one minute iteration in the Google Firebase database. And the from the database, the Android application will fetch the data and calculate it and show you the Android application. Now let's connect all the hardware parts. Here is the 230 volt AC input, phase neutral and dark. And here is the energy meter for taking the reading of energy. And for sensing voltage and current, here is the voltage sensor and current sensor. And here is the microcontroller unit with ADC ADS1115. And here we have four switches connected with these four loads. And here is also an external port 
for connecting more loads and here I am turning on the 100 watt lamp. Here you can see in the application there is the volt that the voltage is 234 volt and the current is 0.43 amps and the power or connected load is 101.44 watt and here is the energy consumption value and by pressing this get bill button you can get the bill for the energy consumption and here you can also see I only turned on the 100 watt lamp so for that you will get the value of 100 watt and here if I turn on another 100 watt bulb so after one minute you will get the reading of 200 watt here you can see the power or connected load is 196.72 watt there is some minor errors if you guys learned something from this video then don't forget to hit the like button mention your thoughts in the comment section below share this video with your friends technical community and if you are not following me on facebook and instagram you can follow me on facebook and instagram link is given in the description and if you are seeing me for the first time or you are new to this channel then please subscribe to this channel to see more exciting videos like this and most important thing be creative.